Hey, what's up guys? John here from the Reaper blog. In this video, I'm going to answer this question from Tiki Haria. Is there a way to fade in and out all items at once? This is meant to fix any clicks in edited backing vocals. There are a few different ways you can approach this. Let's go over to Reaper and look at some backing vocal tracks. These are pretty clean tracks. There's one little bump here that shouldn't be there. So I'm just going to, first of all, group them. So I'm going to select them like this, uh, hit my action for grouping. You can also right click and group, group items. I've got it set to command G, but I think the default is just G. Uh, enable grouping and select one item, select group enabled. So I can click here. I can press A to trim my start. I can press S here and A like that. Cleaned up really quick. Now, if I grab the top corner of one of the items, you can see that these three tracks all fade in and out and also trim together, right? That's pretty standard. I think everyone knows that. Let's undo that. Uh, go back to no fades on here. Okay, so if we grab both of these items, these two items are not grouped together. Uh, they're grouped vertically, not horizontally, but we can still trim things if we have the correct mouse modifier. So if I grab one, with no modifier clicked, it's just modifying the item that's under the mouse. If I hold shift, then both items are uh, adjusting the item edges. And if I insert a fade here and hold holding shift, I'm adding a fade to all the selected item starts and selected item ends. So let's look at mouse modifiers, media item crossfade for left drag. And you wanna make sure that Move crossfade, ignoring snap, and relative edge edit is enabled. And the same for media item edge. You want move item, ignoring snap, with relative edge edit. So with that turned off, with relative edge edit turned off, I'll hit apply. I have these six items selected. I'm going to move the item, hold shift, and uh, both items are not connected anymore. They won't move together. So that's on and I can do this and I can slide them. So it's a great way of working. I'm going to remove the fades on here and I'm going to go into item properties this time. So I have all my items selected and going to double click and that brings up the MIDI item properties. You can see at the top there are six items selected and now let's just put in a fade. So how about 500 milliseconds for the start and the end? Right? Click OK. And we've got a very small fade at the beginning and end of each item. And of course, that works for any amount of time that you want to put in here. So we could set this to 2.5 seconds. Could apply. So there's a longer fade there. One final option is to use some of the SWS extension options. Uh, you can see here in the action list that we have actions like set fades of selected items to configuration A and B. We can set that up in the extensions menu, command parameters. And in this window, so there's the fade in time and the fade out time. I set this to uh, one second and set this one, let's do three seconds, a nice long fade out and then click OK. And now we can select these items, select, select both of them, and run the action, set fades of selected items to configuration A, hit run, and now we've got a fade in the beginning and the end, and there are different lengths. So you can totally customize this as you like. So there you go. That was three different ways of applying fades to multiple items at once. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support the Reaper blog, there's a tip jar on the website. You can also go to patreon.com slash the Reaper blog and sign up for a monthly pledge of $2, $5, whatever you can afford or whatever you would like to, to uh, pledge. And it really helps. Once again, thanks a lot for watching. Visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.